Hey everyone, hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. So for today, uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to look at some graphs of distance and time. So we've been talking about how we know distance over time is equal to the speed. Okay, so we're going to look at how speed can be graphed and what that uh, what that entails. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to present my screen here. We're going to go over a couple slides just demonstrating what uh, what speed looks like. Okay. There we go. Okay. So if let me present this. Okay. Questions. What are some questions that we need to answer? What is a position time graph? What is a velocity time graph? And how are those two related? Okay, today we are focused on question one. All right, and if at any point in the video you have to pause it, please do so. Okay. So a distance time graph shows the object's position as a function of time. So where is it located? Okay, so the x-axis is always going to be time. Time is always going to continue to go on and on and on and on. Whereas the y-axis is the distance. Okay, distance traveled. Okay. So imagine a ball rolling on a table illustrated by a strobe light every second. There we go. Okay, so one second, it traveled one inch. Two seconds, it traveled two inches, etc. So what would a graph of this look like? Well, in a one second, one inch. So if we, or one centimeter. So if we look at this, one second and one centimeter, our first plot would be there. Two seconds and two, three and three. So it seems to be going upwards at an angle. Okay. And there's our plot. That's our distance time graph. So if you look, after, after 10 seconds occurred, 10 centimeters was traveled. Okay, so what are some characteristics that we see here? Well, it's a straight line, and we know it's going up. Okay, it's in the positive direction. What kind of motion created this graph? Well, the ball was constantly moving to reach that point. Because after one meter, every, every second he traveled a centimeter. Okay, so that ball is constant. Okay. Each type of motion has a character, characteristic shape on a distance time graph. All right, constant speed, we're going to look at zero speed and accelerating and decelerating. Okay, so we're going to look at four different, uh, four different character shapes on graphs. Constant speed is represented by a straight segment. Okay, it's going to be straight. There's a straight line, that's a constant speed. Okay, if it's going up, we're in the positive direction. All right, so once again, straight line, constant speed. However, this one's going in the negative direction. Okay, here, straight line again. So, however, this one, if you look at it, um, straight line straight across, that means the object's not moving. Its position is remaining the constant while time is always moving. So horizontal means it's at rest. It's not moving. Whereas on the other hand, curved segments on the distance time graph represents the speed is changing. So if the speed speeding up in the positive direction. So if you look, your curve starts to go up. All right. That's positive if it starts to curve down, that's negative. Okay. Curve segments on a distance time graph mean the object speed is changing. So same thing. Now, if we actually look at this, so he was traveling at a constant speed until he reached about here, and then he started to curve, and he's curving going back towards, so he's still traveling up. However, he's not traveling up as fast. He's actually 
slowing down how he, how fast he's traveling because he's going up 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 slowing 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 and maybe eventually he might be going down then okay whereas this one you're traveling in the negative direction fast 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 but as you start to flatten out remember once you start to hit horizontal a horizontal line means you're not moving all right so when you hit that hor horizontal line you're going to slow down right before you hit the horizontal line. All right, so how do we find the speed? How do we find the velocity based on uh, our equation? We know distance over time is um, velocity, right? So if we look at this, all right, if we look, let's say, at this point right here, all right, we have to look at another point on the graph to determine the velocity. Okay, so let's choose those two points. Okay, so I traveled a total of 20 meters. I started at 10 and I went to 30. So I traveled 20 meters in a total of 30 seconds. So change in Y over change in X. Okay, so 20, remember? 20 meters in 30 seconds. So your slope is 0.6 in meters per second. So that's actually how you're going to graph or how you're going to calculate the velocity in a dis distance time graph. Okay, so in this example, the following distance time graph corresponds to an object moving back and forth. Can you describe its motion? All right, so maybe pause the video here. And think about it. What's happening here? Okay. So hopefully you paused it. Oh, my bad. Hopefully you paused it. What this is, is you started moving at a constant speed. All right. And let's say you're walking towards lunch. You're walking towards lunch at a constant speed. However, right here, you forgot your lunchbox in the, in the locker behind you. So you start to slow down. And eventually... You stop because you're like, hey, did I actually forget my lunchbox? And you're like, oh, I did. So now you're walking backwards, right? You're still moving. You're just moving in the negative direction at a constant speed. So you go back past the room you were previously in. You keep going, keep going. You made it to your locker. You're stopped trying to get your lunchbox. And now you're starting to move again in the positive direction towards the cafeteria. Okay? So that's just one example of a distance time graph, okay? Now, uh, maybe there's no assignment for today, but maybe just try writing a practice out, practice of what this kind of looks like, and uh, maybe graph, graph, graph a distance time graph based on a story, okay? Write a story of, like, the lunch one, or maybe what you did today at two o'clock or all right so write a story and try to graph it just as a little practice okay if you guys ever have any questions please let me know um this is distance time so tomorrow we're actually or monday monday we're actually going to focus on velocity time graphs and see how those two relate okay so if you guys have any questions for me please let me know if not i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you on monday